Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now, you may notice uh, via the decorations, it's Christmas suit. Also, this is my first time on the Friday Gear Show. Is it? Ever? Yeah, ever. Nobody's ever let me on to come and sell some gear before, but today we're going to get a very interesting perspective. Mm. Trustworthy. <laughs> yeah, right. Realistic. <laughs> now, look, Christmas uh, is a time of big presents and it's a time of little presents, but what we're looking at today is stocking filler stuff. So, yeah. slightly cheaper. We've tried to stick around about the 50 euro mark as a maximum. I think mm -hmm. a few things are slightly over, but around about that. And of course, a lot cheaper things as well. Yeah. Now, there's a host of bargains to be had on the shop. Uh, there's a page full of stocking filler present ideas if you need that, linked down below. But today, we're going to be going through a few of our favorites. Favorites. Got a little joke before we start. Go for it. How did Darth Vader know what Luke Skywalker was getting for his Christmas? I, d I don't know. Because he felt his presents. <laughs> Right, let's kick off with the easiest and best present that you can possibly get a climber, in my opinion, which is chalk. Uh, my favorite chalk at the moment is this stuff. It's Seven Sisters Super Fine Chalk. I have talked about it before and you guys bought tons of it. Now it's like water for your hands. You put your hands in and it just kind of goes over your hands. It is a weird feeling. Not everyone's gonna like it. I like it. Okay. It's really good value. Three euros 50 for a hundred gram bag. But what are you gonna put it in? Because you've got a bag, right, full of True. chalk. How do you, how do you, well, Mamu have got your back on this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mamu. They have got something called a pure chalk collection box. Wait a minute, it's not a chalk bag. It's not, it's a box or a tin style thing. So you take the chalk and you put it in that? You put it in the box. Now th this sounds rubbish, but it's not because it's decorated with iconic climbs, iconic climbing areas, it's got action direct, it's got finale in it. It's one of those presents you give to someone because it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you, yeah. I don't think every climber necessarily wants one of these, but if my mum gave me one of these, I think it was a very nice present. Right, who's next? What's uh, next? You, I think, yeah, you. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be talking about uh, kids. I have kids. I don't How know many kids do you have? I've got three kids. Why? I've got three boys. I don't normally talk about them on the show because I, my life is pri private and my family appreciates that. But today, in order to vlog channel for your yeah, kids. No. <laughs> in order to sell kit, I am going to talk about my kids. Mm. And first off, we're going to be talking about climbing shoes. Okay. Now it's quite difficult to know what to get your kids in terms of climbing shoes because actually, when you first start, you just like normally take your kids to the climbing wall and they're going climbing trainers yeah. and blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. So this is for like kids who have kind of moved to the next level or parents who really want to push their kids. Yes, yeah, pushy, pushy parents. Kids. Yeah, pushy parents. Mm. Um, so I've kind of picked out two pairs of shoes specifically that I think would work. The first one is the La Sportiva Stick It. Mm. Uh, now La Sportiva are very good because they do small sizes. So they go all the way down to 26. Now, for people who don't know those kind of numbers. My eldest kid is seven and he's like a 29. My middle kid is five, he's 27. And then the youngest one is 25, 26. Okay. And he's three. So like you can actually get these kit, these shoes probably for like a big three-year-old. My three-year-old's quite big. Mm. We feed him quite well. <laughs> Do your feet grow if you feed a kid well? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just just the feet. <laughs> to support them, let like they grow out flat. Right. Uh, so yeah, so the La, La Sportiva Stick It is very good. Uh, the other one, and La Sportiva are very good at kids' shoes. Yeah. And they came out recently with like a quite more of an intuitive uh, shoe. It's more like you can like kind of run around in it. Because kids, once they get to the crag, then they, when they do a route, they don't go, oh, I'm going to take my kids' shoes off now just to stop them getting muddy. Right. They run around everywhere in this <laughs> pair of shoes. So it's quite good to get a pair of uh, La Sportiva Grip It uh, kids' shoes. And they kind of came out with these quite recently. They're kind of like a more, you know, you just wear them wherever yeah, kind of thing. They're flexier as well. They're more flexy. They haven't got stiff. They're more, they've got little toes in them. They look like leopard's feet. Uh, but they're over 53, 50 euros, so 53. Okay. Can we squeeze it in? I think we can. Okay. I think we can. Just tell your kids that Father Christmas didn't buy it, you bought it, because you should deserve the credit for a 53 euro present. Absolutely, yeah. I couldn't agree more. Right, what's, what else does your kid need when they go climbing? Because uh, they're probably not going to be bold. Harness. Enough. Yes, harness. Okay, so harness wise, it's uh, this is kind of important because up to a certain age you can down to a certain age, you can kind of get away with just getting them a kind of normal harness. Yeah, okay. And it depends on the size and the weight of the kid, etc., etc. But I would say as a rough guideline, eight and up, you could probably get like a waist harness. Eight and below, put them in a full body harness. Then they're kind of, they're strapped in here. Yeah. So like you attach the thing to them here. So if they fall, they fall and they're kind of like <laughs> pulled up by this. And I guess they feel a bit safer because feel a bit it's, safer. it's been pulling them up almost. Absolutely. One that I would say is super good is the Petzl Simba. What you can also do is you can get the chest harness for kids as well, so you can get a, a normal harness, yeah. and then you get a chest harness. So basically, if they're, if, if they're younger, then you can maybe save a bit of money by getting them 
uh, a normal harness and then you get the chest harness until they're eight and then you just get rid of the chest harness okay. and then you just left with a normal harness. So we've got shoes, we've got harness. Yeah. Any other accessories your kids need? So you're probably going to supply the chalk for the kids. Of course, super yeah. fine, seven sisters. Seven sisters, but then you might want to get them like a chalk bag. Nice. AB Plus is a German company. So you think AB Plus for the kids because they're what? Because they're cool characters. Yeah, they're fun. funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's return to the world of adults for a second. Wait, um, wait, 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 I've got one more. Right. <laughs> Sorry, it's really important. Your kids might get dehydrated. If they do get dehydrated, you want to have them a bottle. The clean canteen, kid classic, small bottle, refillable, easy to drink from. Get that one. So adult stuff now. Now Rhino uh, skincare. Yeah. It's a big deal. If you don't know who Rhino skincare are, skincare are, where have you been living? Loads of pro climbers are using it. Loads of normal people are using it. There's split tips, tip stuff. There's repair stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's dry stuff. And the mm -hmm. dry is what I want to talk about. About 14 euros. It's a little bottle. You put it on eight hours before a climb. Yes. You leave it. You yes. don't wash your hands. The next morning, it dries you out. It stops you sweating on your tips. Now, a lot of pro climbers use antihydral in mm -hmm. there. This is sort of a slightly kinder version of antihydral. Okay. Uh, it's really good. I used it last did year when it, we yeah. did our, our project thing. Uh, Rhino is really cool. It's very, very popular and it, it's good for a reason. So, sure. because it's that price, it's an excellent stocking filler. So, I would recommend you grabbing that for a climber. Okay, so it's the winter, mm -hmm. which means that you probably won't want to go camping. No, it's cold. Uh, but people do like buying stuff off season, but also people like going camping in the winter. So we got stuff for you guys. So first up is the MSR two person mess kit. Now this is a nice little kit. If there's like two of you, you're going on a little camping trip, a bit of a romantic one maybe. Mm. Uh, I would take this along with you because it's got two insulated mugs, two deep dish bowls, two folding sp folding sporks. Now, if you don't know what a spork is, Matt is going to explain, to explain it to you right now. It's a fork, spoon, and knife in one collapsible peripheral. I tell you what you need, though, in order to uh, fill those mess kits with something, something to cook them in. The X-Pot 2.8 litre pot from Seed Summit will uh, we'll tick all those boxes. <laughs> uh, it's a big pot which fold down, collapse into your bag. I tell you what it also does, an inbuilt strainer. So you basically just got the lids there and yeah. then you just got little holes in it and you just like tip it out, pasta done, whack in the smart sauce, got you. then put it into your little MSR uh, kit uh, and you're golden. What do you want after a nice uh, big meal? Uh, a gin and tonic. A gin and tonic. And after the gin and tonic, you normally would have like coffee. a coffee. So if you've already got... The wind burner cup thing. Wind burner pot. So MSR make these kind of pots that you put onto your stove. They sell them in kits. Mm -hmm. That is about 134 euros, so it's over our budget for this particular situation. But what you can get is a wood burner coffee press kit, one litre. So it's one of those things that you like attach to it, put the coffee in, put the hot water in, press the coffee in the morning after your gin and tonic. <laughs> I mean, after your gin and tonic the night before. So I like to start my day. <laughs> <laughs> can of gin and tonic. Uh, you can have coffee in the morning, yeah. nice, fresh, beautiful coffee. One more thing, if you're like fumbling around in the dark, which you quite often are when you're camping, mm. What do you need? I don't know. Some kind of light source. I'm laughing at fumbling around in the dark on a camping trip. <laughs> I'm going to highlight Petso here because they make some very, very good head torches. Mm. The Ticker and the Act Ticker, two, my two favourites. The Ticker is actually very cheap. It's on 22.46 because it's last season. That is cheap. There's a couple of left of them. Yeah. Uh, also the Act uh, it's 39.99. Kind of, uh, as its name suggests, it's a bit better for like running and moving and, and mm. all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, Christmas Day is a bit stressful sometimes. You've got lots of family. Sometimes you need to step back, take some time to yourself and just chill a bit. And books are uh, good for that because yes. you can just have some moments yourself. Two books I'd recommend. One is called Fear. Uh, it's written by Roanne van Voost. Uh, I met her actually yes. in Spain. Lovely. She's interviewed loads of climbers talking about how they deal with fear. Uh, and the methods they use to get over it, and the fact they feel fear, because I think that a lot of climbers pretend like they're not scared, and they are sometimes. Yeah. The second one is an office favorite, which is this bad boy, which is Mastermind. Yeah, this is a goodie. Written by uh, Jerry Moffat. Uh, it's beautiful, and it's looking at mental training for climbing. So it's great. If you can do a pull-up with 100 kilograms, cool, but if you mentally go to bits, you're mm -hmm. never going to be able to climb your route. Mm -hmm. So this thing really explores how to mentally do it. It's got lovely pictures, and it works a bit like a journal, so you can write your ideas, your experiences in it. So it's an interactive, It's beautiful. Touchy look book. at it. It's beautiful. Now, time. if you've messed up Christmas and you've left it far too late, which I do all the time, then obviously postage can become a bit of an issue. So a few ideas ideas for you of presents that don't require a physical gift. Mm -hmm. One is the 27 Crags uh, Topo card. This costs about 45 euros 60 on the Epic TV shop. Topos for the world. That's the whole world. The whole world minus 
some places. But all you do is you download the free uh, app, you then buy this, you put the code into the free app, and it unlocks the world of Topos. That's amazing. You. Yeah. The second thing is the Lattice plan. And we haven't really chatted about this. Uh, next week we are putting out a special gear show on this. For €154.50 Euros 50, currently on the shop, might change up and down a little bit, yep. you get a Lattice rung and you get a 12-week training plan. Mm -hmm. So what's cool about this is it gives you everything you need for that January kick. Now let's say that you've left things a bit late. With this, you get an email sent to you. So the rung might not arrive on Christmas Day, but the plan will arrive on Christmas Day. Sure. So you can download the app, you can get started on the process, you can give the climber something to do during their day, which is fantastic. So that's just an email? It's an so email you might be like, Listen, and happy a rung. birthday, yes. and then you show them the email. <laughs> they might think you're like, giving them a computer. The computer in, yeah, don't do that, to, yeah, don't, don't do, do that. that. You do get the rung with it. Print out the email. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I have actually email. had that kind of a present before. You put it on the tree in an envelope, and then Hello, it's, there you there go. Yeah. yeah. That's an idea for a present uh, if you've left things a bit late. There are lots of other things on the shop. Belay gloves are cheap-ish slash good value. And they're quite toasty. The other thing is nut keys. Now, bear with me, this sounds a bit weird, but yes. they're around about 10 euros, and it's one of those gifts you give a climber, and you're always gonna need a nut key. Mm. If you don't know what nut key is, it removes gear. So if you have a nut, yeah. smashed in, you use it to kind of hook fiddle gear out, bash the gear out. And it's one of those things that personally I lose a lot sure. with my nut keys. You give it to someone because you give it to your second. They come up. It's a, it's a nice romantic it's like a, present. It's a, it's a symbolic yeah. uh, gift. I think that's it. I think we've covered in a whirlwind tour of cheap, I mean, good value-ish value. presents. I feel uh, exhausted. I feel exhausted too. Yeah. And then we've got, we got one more thing to say. Yeah, so delivery is important at Christmas because you want things to arrive on time for Christmas Day. Uh, whilst you're watching this, so Friday the 13th, up <coughs> until fri uh, sat Sunday the 15th at midnight, we're offering free express DHL delivery. Now let me explain a bit more. Usually this delivery option is about 10 euros on the sure. Epic TV shop. And of course, if you have a basket that's over 70 euros, it's free anyway, but it's not express free. Okay. So it's free, but slightly slower. Okay. From at the moment, while you're watching this, until the 15th at midnight, if you click the express option in the checkout, yep. you won't be charged for it. Okay. So you can get those gifts. So they've got two days in they, order to get free got, well, DHL Express delivery. Exactly, you've got today, if you're watching it on Friday, you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday midnight, free express delivery. So it takes and then it will stress definitely, out definitely arrive at Christmas. Definitely. I mean, after that date, it's probably still gonna arrive anyway, but this is a way of guaranteeing it, it's a way of t reducing the stress for yourself, yeah. and it's free. Of course you click it. Yeah, just click it, but you gotta click it. Mm. If you don't click it, not free. No clicky, no, no. giddy. No, no, no. No likey, no like, no likey. Have a great Christmas, man. Enjoy. Thanks very much. Yeah, you too. Yeah, and do let us know if you like our Christmas gift ideas. Comment below if you found a better stocking filler than we have, round about 50 euros. Yeah, give or take four or five euros. Exactly. And please, no dangerous fingerboarding on Christmas no. Day. No. Fing Chris Christmas Day should be a fingerboarding free scene. Champagne, turkey, and fingerboarding do not mix. <laughs> See you soon, everyone. Happy Christmas.